most gifts collect far more information than you might realize. For example, take the super popular works with friends. This game collects the following data, purchases, contact info, user content, identifiers, diagnostics, location, contacts, browning history, usage and other data. I, the stick with real, life's travel. We, captainer on iPhone or Android. Which precise cropping and auto light and adjustments this scanner app quickly shot to popularity. Camp scanner even has an ID scan template, so employees filling out new art paperwork can quickly scan and upload sensitive documents. Do not trust this free app with your driver, test license, financial documents, and social security number. Back in 2019, cybersecurity researchers found malicious code in the Android version of the PDF Creator app. The best code came from a third-party advertising library. The app was updated, removing the offending SDK, and later returned to the Google Play Store. Still, you may choose to stay away PC if you don't need it. What can you use instead? For iPhone users, the pre-installed notes app does everything you need when it comes to scanning. For Android, try the Google Drive app. Hit the plus icon in the corner, then tap scan. Astronomy app. Astronomy lets you be able to discharge the suit while you are in the world. But download Astro Guru, Astrology, Horoscope, and Fun Mystery, and you can import a whole lot of data sharing. Checkpoint Research says the app kick hatch over dodge downloads, the idea to properly lock down user data, including usernames, dates of birth, gender, location, email addresses, and payment details. Chart. Find another way to fax. Here is another find from research firm Checkpoint Research. ISX is a popular app that allows you to send you USD faxes straight from your phone. Researchers found explicit cloud storage access kit that allow it access to fax documents. As a result, malicious actors cloud gain access to documents sent by the app as far show shunno 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 plus users. That cloud be a very bad thing if you recently say signed financial documents that include sensitive information. But say no to this logo creator. Checkpoint Research found another app with an open real-time database, logo maker, free graphic design among logo templates. The free app has a ton of downloads and great reviews. You won't never know it cloud expose your info to and you're willing to look for it. That includes email addresses, passwords, usernames, and user IDs. Take this as a great reminder to set unique logins for all your accounts, even apps you may not access much. Imagine you download Logo Maker and set the same password you use for your bank web inside. Once a criminal gets their hands on your password, it is easy to check other accounts using the same credentials. Chai, an unsecured screen recorder. Recording your screen can be handier than a static screenshot, but be careful how you get the job done. Screen recorder, kick hatch over dot downloads, exposes recordings made by users. Checkpoint says the app stores screen recordings on a cloud service. 
that test continues, but researchers say there can be serious implications if the developers can get this secret and access keys to the same service that stores those recordings. Sir Renock Checkpoint is research team recovered the key that opened up access to each stored recording. Of course, you don't need a separate app for this. The functionality is being tried into your phone. Now, data how many phase one? About how valuable your data is to be the companies. Why else would they give you access to so many services for? Phase two is the prime example. Here is just a bit of what they are trying. Your contacts, call logs, and text messages. Your location, your internal storage, your camera and microphone. Facebook wants extensive access to your device. It wants to track where you go online and in person, what you search for, and what you buy. Then it uses that data to serve you targeted apps. Don't mind the apps. All right. But Facebook is no stranger to data leaks either. Earlier this year, 533 Facebook user records were exposed. But, you are code scanners. When you download a third-party scanning app, you will be logging up your phone. Still, many people prohibited towards these programs. So instead of rolling the this and giving up even more of your personal info, use your phone as built in resources. On Android, open your camera app, point it at a QR code and hold steady for a few seconds. If a notification appears, tap on it. If you don't get a notification, go to settings and enable QR code scan. To scan a QR code on your iPhone, open the camera app and hover over the code. Your smartphone will automatically direct you to the code S3. 9. More than just maps. Dyktuk is famous for its quick horror videos, everything from dances to dangerous stories. But when children compete for the most horror crowd, they will then go to any dangerous stories. One last year, four Italian girls struggled herself to death in a horror blackout challenge, happy news reported. All parents shout no to parents of Dyktuk. Your child may tell you the young type to come out with friends and friends, but every kid is susceptible to peer pressure. If they see social media stars they and may partake in dangerous games, they may want to follow in the court, as footsteps often at the expense of their self. If you have a kid at home, say goodbye to type to. Even if you use it on your phone, the kids may be inspired to download it for themselves. Flash. Light it up. When smartphones first came out, flashlight apps were a must. Not anymore since this feature is built into phones now. Many app designers added shiny new features to keep users around and keep tracking all that data. Take iTunes flashlight for iPhone, for example. The free app tracks your location, personal identifiers, uses data and diagnostic it. That is a lot to give up just to use a flashlight. Bottom line, these the flashlight apps on Apple or Android phones. You don't need them, and your native flashlight app is just as good.